A while back, I ran a tip where you use folder actions to have your downloads folder automatically open up any compressed files that you would download. This way, instead of opening up all files automatically after you download them, it would simply just open up the compressed files and allow you to open up the decompressed files and the other files at your leisure. To do this, now we're going to be using LaunchD instead of Folder Actions. The problem with Folder Actions is they seemed a lot slower and they actually stopped working for me for a while. And I found LaunchD as a solution. LaunchD is built into Mac OS X and it's their way, it's Mac's way of automatically scheduling tasks and uh, it kind of runs daemons at specified times. And to edit a LaunchD plist file, property list file, we're going to be using Lingon. So you'll need to download Lingon. Make sure you download the version you want, either 10.4 or uh, the version for 10.5. We'll be downloading this version. And the other thing you'll be, need, be needing is an AppleScript file. There's a link on the right hand side on where I download the AppleScript file from. So we're downloading Lingon right now. And once you download the script file, open that up. And now we're all set. Now that you have the Apple script open, we'll need to edit it to work with our specific user. So to do this, we need to change this first line and we need to change the path to the path to our downloads folder. Now you can just type in your short name instead of the Oliver right there. But instead what we'll do to make sure that it works is we'll go over here, we'll delete all that, we'll then grab our downloads folder and drag it to the left slash. We want to have it be an alias, and it should be user slash your short name right here, downloads slash. We'll compile it and we'll save it. Now, to test if it works, what, what we need to do is we need to go to downloads folder. We have Lingon right here, which we downloaded earlier, and we'll hit command I. And you'll notice that in the spotlight comments, there are no, there, there's no words there. Okay, it, it's empty. Even if there are words there, this will still work. And what we're going to do is we'll switch back over here and we run the Apple script. It's going to set the spotlight comments. The end of the spotlight comments have opened in it. Now we can change this phrase to whatever we want. We're just going to stick with open for now. And when you change this phrase, you also have to change it right here. So we have opened. And this way, when it runs, it will not open the same file twice. Okay? And it's only going to open up GZ, zip, and DMG files. To show how this works, we'll just right click on this, say compress, and now we have a zip file. We'll drop this inside our downloads folder. We'll drop this inside our downloads folder. And there we go. So now you can see we have a zip file here. And when we run this Apple script, it should open up the zip file and set the comments to have opened in it. We'll say run, and lo and behold, it opened it up. You'll also notice here, we have opened there, and we have opened here. However, opened is not here because it has not run with that file in there. If you want to add file types, say we want to add an mp3 file type, just copy that part right there, paste it in, and edit the GZ to the file type you want. So we'll do MP3 and we'll save. And now it'll open any MP3 files. Now that that's all done, make sure you save it, quit it, and now what we want to do is we'll move it to our folder actions script folder. Alright, to move it to the folder actions folder, simply drag it. And we'll go to Applications, Apple Script, Example Scripts, Folder Action Scripts. Just drop it right in there. And the reason we're putting it there is because we don't want to lose track of it as we are dealing with everything and you don't want to delete it by accident so that you break your launch D daemon. So now that's there, what we want to do is we want to switch on over to terminal. And you can just do spotlight chirp search for terminal, or you can go to applications utilities terminal, and you want to type in OSA 
S C R I P T O S A script space and then just drag and drop our folder action right into the terminal window. It escapes the spaces for you and everything. And we want to copy this. There we go. Now go to your downloads folder. And we're going to make it run again. So get rid of that. Alright, so now what it's going to do is if this works, then it will open up the zip file. We have a terminal command, we hit return, and it opened up, it added the comments, everything's working fine. So now that you know that works, we need to open up Linga Lingon. So we'll go to our downloads folder, and you can open up Lingon right from your downloads folder. So we just downloaded it, but we'll say open anyway. And right now, we can choose an item on the left, right here, or create a new one. And we're going to create a new one. So we'll say new. And we're going to say my agents. And we'll say create. Right, this is the Lingon window. And now we need to fill it up. To fill this out is pretty easy. For the name, we'll do com dot our name dot downloads downloads.folder. This is pretty subjective, however I believe that you have to start it out with com dot and I use my username because that is personal to me. I use downloads because that's a specific folder and I use folder because that's a nice extension to remind me of what it's for. As long as this is unique, you should not run any problems, just make sure to start with com. For the what, we'll be using the terminal command from earlier. We'll paste that in, however there's a catch. You can't do it like this. What we need to do is we need to delete all these forward slashes. Make sure there's none in there. And we need to put a quote, a single quote mark right there, and a single quote mark at the very end. Like that. Now for the win. The win is pretty easy. We'll go to path and we'll say downloads. Open. However, the catch is that we don't want to have it be inside this box right here. Instead, we want to say this box right there. The reason why is basically watch paths, which is what this box is right here. It looks at a folder, and if anything's put inside it, then it acts upon it. However, in queue directories, the folder has to be empty at the end of the script, and that's not very good for the folder for, for the downloads folder script. So we're going to be using this one right here. And you can't use this path because for this one you have to choose a file rather than a folder. Now that we've done all this, we'll just hit the save button and we'll quit Lingon. Close everything and log back out, log back in again and we'll see if this works. Now for the big test. We've logged out, we've logged back in again, we've set up Lingon, everything should be working fine and we're going to find out if it is. Create a new window, and we have our downloads folder right here. We'll take our handy zip file. Let's make sure there's no comments right here. And we're going to drop our handy dandy zip file into our downloads folder. And when we drop this, if we've done everything correctly, the folder action from LaunchD should open up the zip file. Let's do this. Drop it on and it works almost instantly. That is so much faster than folder actions. When I was testing it earlier, it worked a little bit slower, but still pretty fast. If you have any problems with this, first of all, make sure that in Lingon, make sure that there's no forward slashes in here at all, okay? Make sure that you have a quote mark. Oh, that's the wrong one. No spaces. Make sure that you have a quote mark at the beginning and a quote mark at the end. And make sure that it's inside the run it if this file is modified rather than run it if anything in this shared folder in this place is modified. So that's how you set it up. If you want to delete it, you can either hit the enable button right here, but if you want to permanently get rid of it, select it, hit command U, or go to file, show in finder. 
and just delete it from right there. So that's how you can set up folder actions using LaunchD and Lingon. And Lingon is just Lingon is just an application to manage LaunchD. So you can do this by hand, however it's a lot easier with Lingon. If you want to see how it works, just click on the export mode button right here and you can man and you can edit the XML file just right inside the thing. So that's about it all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and thanks for subscribing.